All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. Next episode is episode 20, believe it or not. And as I'm sure most of you know, every 10 episodes, I want to do like a special theme, just something kind of more picked, if that makes sense. Like, so I ask you to ask me a certain question instead of like you just asking whatever you can come up with. Um, of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I figure today, I say today, next episode's theme uh, would be more like of a humble episode, and it's that I want you guys to ask me for advice on literally anything. I want to try to see if I can give good advice on stuff. I, I, I don't think I'll be able to, um, but so, of course, if you want to just ask me a, a random question, that's fine too. Um, so just comment something down below, either asking for advice or a question. So anyways, let's get into today's question, starting with, well, my, the W0717, or is it 17? I don't know. Um, and he says, what do you think was the worst wave of Lego Star Wars sets ever. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have one, honestly. Like, it's just okay to me. Like, I, I, I've never once looked at a wave. Maybe I'll come up with a better answer someday. Um, but where I was like, oh my gosh, this wave is awful. To me, there's always going to be a couple sets in a set or wave that make this like wave kind of bad. But like the whole wave as a whole is never like terrible. At least I don't think... Um, but I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that, like, right off the bat in the beginning of the video. Um, I'm asking you guys a question. What do you think's the worst wave? Because maybe I didn't do enough research and I would agree with one of you. Z one of you's opinions. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, comment down below what you think is the worst wave of our time of Lego Star Wars history. All right. Anyways, our next question comes from Doc Jedi Films, and he says a bit of a long one today, so I'm going to try to read it out, and of course, I'm terrible at reading, so bear with me. I noticed you have sort of an accent. Where are you from? Question mark. My guess is South America, because I also am from South America, and it's just a South American accent. Do you? Wait accent you have i don't know lol enjoy your day and stay safe well very first of all very much thank you very much why, why did i say very much thank you very much that yeah i'm in a weird mood today um thank you i appreciate that you too stay safe all of you i hope you're staying safe and doing well um and no i'm not from south america i'm actually from america just just the america you know america so um yeah but I guess I have an accent to depending on who asks or who who's watching because that's just how it works, right? So, um, yeah, but I'm from America, not South America. So, um, close enough though, I guess, kind of not really, but <laughs> so our next question comes from the burner. He says, have you watched Star Wars, the Clone Wars, and do you have any sets from it? Um, does this set on screen count? Because if so, then yes, I have that one. Um, and have I seen the show? Of course I've seen the show. I've seen all the episodes of all the seasons. And if you haven't, what are you doing with your life? All right, our next question comes from Brick Studs Productions. And he says, have you watched Avengers Endgame and Infinity War? And if so, which did you prefer? Honestly, I'm going to say that's not something you can really pick. Maybe I'm wrong, but because it's, yes, there are two different movies that released at two different times, but they're technically one giant movie, right? So I don't really think one is better than the other because like it would be out of context if you just watch the one but not the other so it's like you got to watch both to finish the story um so i don't really have an answer for you there i like them both equally i guess would be my answer because i feel like you can't say this one's better but maybe i'm wrong so um yeah our next question comes from jawa and he says will you do a room tour sometime uh, I don't know, maybe, I personally, like, this is just from my personal opinion, um, uh, my room is not that impressive, there's, like, nothing to see, in fact, um, I have some, like, stains and, like, holes in my wall, and just, like, like, my walls don't look very pretty either, so, like, my room just doesn't look nice as it is, so, like, 
I don't really think you guys would even be interested in seeing my room personally. And then when you do, you'd be like, oh my gosh, dude, your room is a mess. It's disgusting. So, um, maybe if I someday like paint my walls and like redecorate and stuff, but, um, I don't really think I'll be doing a room tour anytime soon. So, um, uh, sorry if that disappoints you. The next question comes from Esme and he says, have you ever been into the Batman sets? I think some of them are pretty cool but still prefer Star Wars. Yeah, I'm the same. I, I, I can agree with that. Um, I'm not going to buy them, but the Batman sets are cool. Like some of them I have seen. And um, of course, I love Batman as like a superhero and everything. So, but definitely going to go with Star Wars. Star Wars is just like the best in terms of Lego, in my opinion as well. Um, so I agree with that. Batman sets are cool, but I'm going to keep getting Star Wars. So um, yeah. And our next question comes from EK Extras, and he says, Are you excited for The Mandalorian Season 2? Of course I am. What kind of question is that? No, I'm just kidding. Of course I am. I'm super duper duper excited, um, especially because it's like the only Star Wars thing we're getting this year um, in terms of like education, education, <laughs> uh, entertainment. I mean, maybe you learn, technically you still learn something even when you watch Star Wars, right? Um entertainment so because we're not getting a movie this year so i'm like okay and we're not getting any other shows well it's rumored that we're getting a rebels spinoff but that probably won't happen this year anyways right i don't know um but anyways our next question comes from the lego pog and he says what are your mo what are you most excited for ps5 or the new xbox thing the 501st battle pack as many people want to call i honestly couldn't care less about a new ps5 or xbox i'm not going to get either of them they're too i'm assuming they're going to be too expensive they're probably going to be like 600 dollars here in america um so i'm just like no thank you that's way too much money and i don't really need a huge fancy mega duper duper uh super xbox of doom like it doesn't need to be this like computer shoved into an xbox because if i'm gonna pay that much i'm gonna just buy a gaming pc right so uh, yeah that's that's what i think but maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm biased i don't know um if i come across one for like a really good deal and my uh, current xbox is broken then yeah i'll get a new one but until my Xbox decides I don't want to work anymore, I'm probably going to just keep my default, like, first edition Xbox One. Like, it's... If anything, actually, let me just say one more thing. If anything, I would replace my current Xbox now with, like, an S or an X. Not the newest Series X or whatever it's called. Um, so I would just be getting, like, a slightly better upgrade from what I currently have, but not the best upgrade. Because... I don't need to spend $600 on Xbox. I I probably spend about two to four hours on an Xbox every day. Maybe more depending on the day. But on average, I would say anywhere in between two to four hours on Xbox. That's not a lot of time. So I'm not going to spend $600 on that, you know. So that was really long. Lots of answers in your question. So you're welcome, the Lego plug. Our next question comes from EK Starlord and technically Brickman. They both are asking the same question. What are my thoughts on the new mosaic sets? And I'm going to just say it and someone's probably going to disagree with me, but they're cool, but they're way too expensive. And I know it comes with like, I don't even know how many pieces, like 3000 or something like that, but it's literally just studs. Like, I know you get the little base plates and the Technic pins so you can clip it all together and all that fancy jazz and it looks beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like, so, so, okay, let me explain this in case you don't know. So you buy one and you make the picture. It can be Maul, Darth Vader, or Kylo Ren. Or you can buy three and make a giant picture of Darth Vader. So that's cool. But it's a hundred and, is it 130 or 120 bucks for one. That's way too expensive because Someone like me would be, if I had enough money, I'd be like, well, I'm getting four so I can have the really big Darth Vader, the small Darth Vader, the small Kylo Ren, and the small Maul, right? So you would have to get four of those things. Hi, yes, hello, uh, future me here. This is me while editing the video. I realize I made a colossal derp. Um, I said you would have to get 
four of the mosaic sets in order to have all four pictures, the big one and then the three little ones. I don't know why I was doing the math wrong in my head, like the dumb math. Um, you would need six in order to have the really big one and all three little ones next to each other or whatever you want to do with like displaying it, like have on all of them. So I don't know why I said four, but that's why I'm like, this is so crazily expensive. Of course, you don't have to get them all, but anyways, uh, back to the video now. This is just way too expensive in my opinion. So maybe I'll get one, but I'm probably not even going to get them. I just, I don't really think they're that amazing and I'm like, because it's studs, it's going to be hard to dust. Because, like, you know, if you put that on your wall, it's going to get dusty in, like, a day. So, I I like them, but I think they're way too expensive for a bunch of studs. That's really all it is, is, like, 300, not 300, 3,000 studs. And you're paying that much. Which, I know that's a lot, don't get me wrong, but I just, I couldn't really care, honestly. So, our next question comes from Lego Darth Vader Studios, and I'm not trying to be mean, but uh, his question is: rate these one to wait, yeah, wait, rate these one to five being the best and the least best in your opinion. Like, um, like he wants me to rate uh, all these YouTubers, including myself, and I don't want to do that because I don't want to. Well, first of all, I don't want to rate myself and be like, "Ha ha, I'm the best," or "Ha ha, I'm the worst," because that just looks weird, right? And I, I don't know. I, I don't really like saying on YouTube who my favorite YouTubers are, right? Because then someone will get mad and be like, why aren't I your favorite if they make videos, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but so I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm not going to do that. So sorry, but thank you for the question. If you want to ask me another question or advice for next episode, I'll most likely answer that. So once again, I do apologize if I'm being kind of mean, but you know, and our very last question of the day comes from Vader Bricks, and he says, What was your first Lego Star Wars set, and what do you think of the new clone faces? Um, I'm going to answer the second one first. Honestly, I'm, like, surprised, right? Like, it's one of those things where you make a big deal about it forever. Like, this is never going to change. This is stupid. And then when it changes, you're like... Oh, you know, like in my reviews, I'm always like, and an angry clone face, because that's just what it is when you take the helmet off. But now that it's going to be changing, apparently, or at least a new clone face, it's going to be like getting used to something new. And it's kind of weird, right? So, um, but of course, also at the end of the day, does it really matter? Because once you put the helmet on, you don't even see their faces. And like, I guarantee you 90% of the Lego community that displays their minifigures will keep the helmets on so they don't really need a face at all right so i don't know it's kind of funny but um i like the new clone face i think it's definitely interesting hopefully I, at the time of me recording this video i don't know if i'll be able to have pictures up because it's too difficult for me to do apparently um so if if i have pictures up you can see what i'm talking about if not then just uh, go google it or watch someone else's video um showing off the new clan faces but anyways to answer the second question my very first ever lego star wars set at least i think because my brain is a bit poo sometimes um was the battle droid battle pack set number seven six four no i'm sorry that's a five seven six five four this, I believe, was my very first ever LEGO Star Wars set. I remember getting it for Christmas and thinking that this was, like, really cool as a kid. And, uh, of course, I lost all the pieces to the set. And then later down the line when I was older, I ended up selling the pieces. So, I'm an idiot. Yes, I didn't get the gold free PO either, in case you're wondering. Or, no, I didn't, I should say. In case you're wondering. Oh, man. I'm actually thankful I didn't get the gold free PO. Because if I got it as a kid, I would have trashed that thing and played with it and ruined it. And, ugh, that would haunt me to this day <laughs> if I did that. So, maybe it's a good thing I didn't get that one. But, um, anyways, that is all for today's video of ASA. So, thank you all very, very, very much for all your awesome, amazing questions. And thank you for watching, of course. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And remember to either ask a question or ask for some kind of advice uh, and yeah have a fantastic day and i will see you all in the next episode or maybe this friday for a review if you want to stop by and say hi so do it
Yeah. Okay. Bye.